welcome to a new vlog. It is currently massively storming outside, but not so much snow. Well, I guess it depends on where you are because the Pacific Northwest has been hit with quite the bit of storms lately. Snow, ice, rain. Mine is massive bits of rain pouring down right now. But I'm honestly glad that it's just not snow because I hate snow and people that are used to driving in snow can give me shit all you want. I hate driving in snow and ice. I think it really goes back to a previous job I had where it didn't matter the road conditions. Like you had to go to work or you were fired. And so I had some really scary experiences with that. It's just no good. So I don't really like snow and ice. No thank you. But rain, I can handle rain even though it's pouring. I've grown up driving in stormy, rainy Pacific Northwest. I can handle this. However, I will say that my car, when it rains like this, like really bad, it gets so foggy in my car and I'm actually thinking about trying a hack on my windows when I get home. I'm leaving work. Okay, I'm gonna try this shaving cream trick that I saw online for making sure that your windows don't get foggy in certain weather. Okay, watch this be like an epic freaking fail. Oh my god. My car's gonna smell like shaving cream. The videos I watched online said that this made the window stay clearer and it didn't really have like a residue. Some of the other hacks had like a residue left on it. So let's do this side. Let's try this. This side. I think I'm gonna do it on the back window too because that one fogs up really bad when it's like pouring outside. Maybe I should do it on the front window too. Choices, choices. <laughs> okay, back seat. It's supposed to continue to be stormy here. So that's why I'm trying this technique to see if the rest of the extremely rainy days could not be as difficult drive-in. I mean, if anything, the windows look like super like clear already, but it's going to take a little bit. I'll come and check it maybe later tonight or even tomorrow and kind of see if it like sitting will fog back up or not. I'm going to try and not <laughs> put my ass completely to the camera. Shaving cream everywhere. I figure if I get at least a little bit on the back window, that would help. My <laughs> Can you imagine if my neighbors are watching me right now? <laughs> this does work. I'm actually kind of curious on how often I'll need to do it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to do it like year round, just when big, big storms come in. Oh, I have to worry about that. Wow. Okay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> What's up? Um, I'm gonna do a little bit on the front windshield too. Just because why not? Bring this out just kind of with the residue that's left. Wow. I think it's working. Granted, we'll see what it is in a little bit. Time jump. Winter birthday party been working, all the fun stuff. Needed to watch something while I was working. And I've heard all about this documentary on Netflix called Abducted in Plain Sight. I'm 24 minutes in and I've decided to stop watching it because I have to watch it with someone else because the amount of times I've said what the fuck what the needs to be shared with someone else. I need to share how my mind is exploding with the stupidity of these people so far. I'm only 24 minutes in. So we just finished the documentary. 
Mom, what did we think about the brilliant parenting that was in this documentary? Worst parents ever. Ever. Truth. I'm so irritated for her. The girl that this all happened to? What a strong freaking person. Because, oh my god, it is so fucked up. If you guys haven't seen it, beware before you start it because it is a shit ton of fucked up. Watch it with somebody. Watch it with somebody. <laughs> you can yell at the screen together. That's what we just did. Here's my Valentine's Day look. I thought I would be semi-pretty. I used a new palette that I haven't used yet. It's like a Mulan palette. I thought it looked very Valentine's-y. Um, I'm gonna try and film, but I'm hopefully going to do a live session for you guys first. So, yeah. Okay, this is just a little update on my car. Um, it is still clear. The moisture that you see on the back window is outside. It's the raindrops from outside because it's pouring pretty hard. But as for fog inside the car, I'm going to say that the shaving cream has successfully worked for my vehicle. So, works for me. My neighbors are staring at me. So I decided to treat myself to the most romantic Valentine's Day dinner ever. Taco Bell. Because I was honestly way too lazy to like have to go inside someplace to get some real Mexican food. I know, right? But I was hungry and so I just decided to get me some Taco Bell instead. I'm so fancy. Oh my god, what a horrible song to play on Valentine's Day! begins the second look for me this Valentine's Day. We're taking the makeup off because I got my food, gonna watch Netflix, gonna get comfy and cozy. Yes. The makeup is gone, the Ewok robe is on, the pajamas are on, Ewok robe, Batman pajamas, coffee shirt, ready for my food and Netflix. So today I decided to do something very random but I once saw this on the show One Tree Hill, which was one of my favorite shows growing up. So I decided that I would play the radio game. And maybe it would be entertaining to ask the radio some questions. And see what song is the answer for me. Shall we see? So, I have some questions here. So basically, you're supposed to tune the radio randomly, at random. You ask a question, then you tune it, and the song you stop on is your answer. Commercials do not count. So, the first question is... What will my 2019 be like? Sledgehammer? Alright, next up. What song represents my love life for 2019? Set me free? I don't know this song. What song is about me as a YouTuber? Is that Heartbreaker? I'm pretty sure that was Heartbreaker by Pat Benatar. And then this is Dream On, so is it like Heartbreaker and Dream On is my answer for a YouTuber? What is my soulmate thinking about right now? If you believe in soulmates, that is. This is a classical station, isn't it? By the way, I'm filming this in a random parking lot, so I'm watching people watch me. 
I don't know what that answer is for my soulmate. Classical music? Classical lover? I like classical music. What song should I live my life by? I should live my life by this song, huh? Where will I be in 10 years? Sell away from you? Well, that sounds depressing. And what is the meaning to life? This is apparently the meaning to life, guys. posting this vlog. I just final update about the windows. It's about a week and a half since I've done it and now I'm starting to notice some of the fog back. So it did work for a while but then it came back but it has been pretty stormy so you can see some of the fog in my windows. But 